Well, good day, my friends. I was thinking, which is always a problem. Yeah, I, I was thinking, and I thought, you know, you really should be yourself, you know. It's probably a good idea. Now, the reason why I'm talking today, now that I've got your attention, is we have a lot of floods in Canada. We have flood plains down in New Brunswick, the Miramichi, houses get washed away out west, Winnipeg, Red River, houses get washed away, catastrophe after catastrophe, year after year. And it goes on year after year without being solved. Here in Ontario, we have many, many homes destroyed every year on just smaller creeks and smaller rivers that you never hear about. So it's a big problem. And it costs the insurance companies billions of dollars. Now, I would say that we have a solution. Let's call it the Norman solution. Just like when our Norman ancestors came to jolly old England. The first thing that they did was make a Mott and Bailey. That's a little castle. Because if you don't have a castle, you'll be destroyed. So they built the Mott and the Bailey. Burns pretty good. But what they would do is build a hill and put the little castle up on it and walls around the bottom. But that would protect them. So this is what I'm calling our system, the Mott and Bailey. We're going to build little hills just like our Norman ancestors. Now, this is how it works. We have records. We'd ha we've had records for over 150 years. We know where the floodplains are, and we know how high the water gets when it's at its highest point. So what we do is we make a bylaw because we are good at making laws in Canada. And we simply say that if you're going to build a new building, it has to be up at the height of the highest water level on these floodplains. This is not necessary where there is no floodplain, just in the floodplains. Now, what that does is, let's say in one floodplain, the water goes up 15 feet, let's say. Let's say this is 15 feet, okay? Well, we have satellites. A little satellite can tell us exactly where that 15 foot high mark is. And we simply get a tractor, bulldozer, and we make a mound so that when we build the house on the mound, it will be above the water level. Some places it might be six feet, some seven. You know, 15 is a pretty high one. But anyhow, in doing that, what we will find is that when the spring flood comes and the water comes in around your castle, because every man's home is his castle, You'll be protected. It will save the insurance companies billions of dollars. It will save you a lot of strife. And um, I think that that would be a big help. And it's not being done. People keep on building houses in the same areas on the same level without thinking of this. It's a simple solution. Build a house on a height that it will protect it from the flood. You know, for homes that are already built, it's a much bigger problem because they are already lower. And if you build a wall around them, which is not hard to do, you get the bulldozer and you can just build it up five feet or six feet or whatever it is. But still, what about the gate? How do you get waterproof gates? So in the end, it's just a matter of sandbagging that, that front gate. But it's still better than nothing to have these walls built around your castle. But again, the new ones up on the hill, up on the mot, put it up there. Save you a lot of trouble. Anyhow, that was just one little solution for helping people out because for some reason they're lost.
They don't realize these things. They don't have the forethought. And the politicians aren't doing anything like that, you know. Anyhow, let's have some common sense. Let's build our homes up on floodplains high enough that they don't go underwater in the spring. <laughs> okay, that was that little story. Anyhow, you guys have a good time. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.